What's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 3 Theory and Prediction video, bringing you the most entertaining Power Universe theories on the net. And today, I have finally discovered the moment Unique will return as Breeze. And it fits with the leaked photo we have all seen of Unique recently stepping out of a building wearing all black. I also will explain the role that Stefano of the Italian mob will play in all of this. Unique as Breeze will have his first official scene with Kanan at a very, very critical and needing time when Kanan needs him the most but doesn't even realize it. You will want to stick around and you will stick around until the end of this video so you don't miss any important information. This video is gonna be another banger. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this channel so y'all can get this fire every day. And since you know you love this content, you can support this channel by sending a donation to the Cash App, jpeterson91, or blessing your brother with a super thanks right above the comment section in your phone. Thanks in advance. Now without further ado, let's get to it. All right now people, let's break it down like this. If you already seen the other video I released today in regards to Ronnie possibly exposing Rock as an informant to Snaps, Pop, and Stefano, this can be considered a continuation to that theory. I was compelled to make this theory as well. With Rock having so many secrets, it's inevitable that she will be exposed and have to disappear at some point. Otherwise, she will be killed by one of the many enemies she has earned possibly even Kanan. In fact, she deserves to die. She's the queen rat of the power universe. And at the same time, she's my favorite character, maybe even of the entire power universe. But she also is smart, resilient, and a survivor. This is why I can see her running off a symphony somewhere by force, leaving Kanan alone in the streets with Marvin in prison or hiding in DC somewhere. And the question is, what will happen with Kanan? And here enters Unique, AKA Breeze. And now here's the basis for this theory, y'all. Unique ain't dead. Power is very deliberate when it comes to death. They want you to know without a question when somebody's really dead. We all know this. Anyone who disagrees, it's only because you want Ronnie to be Breeze. Stop the cat. But with everything going on, it's like all these events are lining up perfect for Unique to reappear as Breeze himself. And let's not say Unique has to be dead because there were hair and bone fragments on the metal pipe. And I'm very well aware of the mistake in words that I used yesterday in my video regarding this subject. But in the same show, we seen Howard have cancer, get shot, and then miraculously, the doctors found a donor for him while he was in the operation room. Howard has been cancer free for two seasons, niggas. If Howard can beat cancer, then Unique could beat a fucking metal pipe, <laughs> leaving him as the same Unique with his mind slightly altered from his injury giving him that extra part of him, that extra edge, that extra je ne sais quoi that turns him into Breeze. He won't feel all the way like his old self. Hence the name change. Another thing, Rock told Unique someone would have to pay for Ronnie killing Dean. Could that be another reason why Unique chose to stay low for a while? and change his name until he dealt with that. A lot of details are missing from our Breeze descriptions that haven't been revealed yet. So we have to speculate. We know that if Rock disappears, Kanan will still likely have to take on the monetary debt that will be owed to Stefano, who already told Rock, ain't no way out of this. With that being said, is it possible that Unique heals well enough. We ain't even gotta say 100%. But 60, 70%, he heals enough from his injury, contacts Stefano, and then hears everything that went down. 
possibly even including the death of his own brother by the hands of either Rockside or the police. Because we know if the police raid and Ronnie's there, he's not going down quietly. We already know that Unique is Stefano's favorite nigga. So long as Stefano thinks Unique is healed well enough and seems for the most part like his old self, he would give Unique another chance, probably telling him to get his money up first and then do business. So with the release photo that has Unique leaving a building in front of what looks like his crystal, what are the odds that Kanan is still dating Crystal and that Unique has his first scene with Kanan at that moment. And we also see Unique tell Kanan he knows about everything, including the debt he owes to Stefano and possibly Snaps and Pop as well. And he would then have a proposition for Kanan. Work with me. Let's get our money up. And then I'll get this work from Stefano and we'll take over the South Side. Both of them will be low on funds due to obvious reasons. The only way for them to gather enough money in a short enough time would be to start hitting licks. We know how big both Kanan and Jukebox were on robberies. We know Juke was a booster, but Juke currently is too bougie for stickups. She calls people thugsters. So it could be unique who puts them both onto hitting licks being that it's possible both Rock and Marvin will be gone. Plus, the feds raided every house and took all the money and work, leaving both Juke and Kanan to have to rob and steal to survive. And for the people who still question if Unique as Breeze will be capable of leading these missions, keep in mind that nobody will be hungrier to win than Unique at this point. Also, Let's talk about the claims that Breeze was strong, but not smart. A lot of needed details are missing from that blanketed statement. Kanan only said Breeze wasn't smart because of how easy it was to kill him. But it would be way harder for anyone who isn't that close to him to do that. Kanan never explained what exactly Breeze did that wasn't smart besides that. If Breeze was just an entire idiot, he wouldn't have been able to mold Kanan, Tommy, and Ghost on his own. It takes a high level of leadership skills, patience, okay, and social intelligence to do that. And this is the drug era of the early 90s in New York City. Millions of dollars were being made daily in New York City from the drug trade. With so much money on the line, it's impossible that Breeze wasn't an intelligent man. Unique has some lapses in judgment, but he sure wasn't stupid. And he's Breeze and he will be making his return.